And Heli just got taken down. This will be a good time to start the raid. We're going for one of the much bigger clan bases, all sheet metal. Some roof stacking and half floors in there. Let's jump in and see what we can do. Okay, he's got it all airlocked up up here and looks like some armored floors possibly. I guess we'll go ahead and follow the pathway down using one of these sheet metal doors. Should be kind of hard for a counter raider to come up there and get in as well. Here we go, we need to get to a center and find the hatch. Armored door, that's gotta be the hatch. Here we go. One rocket will take that out. And now it's armored. Gonna look for some traps around here. Okay, just a straight sheet metal path. We got two wires going to the outside. Battery and controls. Could those be for some auto turrets? 53% stable. We'll take out the battery as well. Come on, please don't be half floors. It is half floors. Got enough to do two more armored ceilings. Let's hope we're close. Oh my gosh, what is this? Ooh, hot turrets turned off. Armored doors and half floors. Your vending machines over here. But what is up with these half floors? So loot actually sealed off or something? Let's follow one of these armored door pathways. I hear vending machines on this side. Okay, there we go. Vending machines and a sleeper with a launcher on his back. Who is this? 509 clan? Oh my god, sleeping with five MGLs on him. Let's see. Looks like the gear loot room, but full of AKs and LRs. These guys are rich. Entire vending machine of rocket launchers. Probably all empty though. Was a garage door path this way? I'll go ahead and take this. More sleeping bags than a workbench three. Holy frick, dude, look at all those mats. Why are they not in the TC though? What the heck, dude? That's a crap ton of wood. Oh, frick. All right, not good guys. Got a little too excited, but I hear a counter raider coming up. Just hoping to be able to get my stuff back. If we run this way, I think we'll be good. Oh my god, there's four traps there. Ah. 
And looking at it, this could be TC behind this workbench. Might have to destroy that workbench too, though, just to get there. Oh my god, I didn't see this box. HV Rockets M249. 11 C4, let's go, dudes. 87 MGL rounds. Okay, that door's broken. Oh my god, look at all the sleepers. And yeah, there's a TC in there. It's locked though. See what's in here. More explosive ammo. Another M2. Here we go, boys. Almost 100 freaking rockets. Four rockets off of 100. 13 C4. Let's go. 509 clan proving us that they are really rich. Box of AKs. And what is that? Another M2 on his body. Let's go. We need to prioritize these rockets over the wood, probably. Another M249. I mean... Why stop there? Let's finish these garage doors out and see what they got. And we can actually, I think, loot TC since we rotated that thing. I mean, we're so close. Oh, we can pick it up. There we go. For TC. Oh my god, guys! Let's go! Stacked full of sulfur. Cooked sulfur. 200 explosives as well. Was not expecting this big of a jackpot, dude. Holy crap. We're gonna want to get out of here ASAP with all that cooked sulfur. Almost 100 rockets. We've got enough to waste on some bases now, that's for sure. 20k HQM, dude. And for the loot rooms over here. 311 tech trash. I just can't take any of this out right now. And gear sets, mainly. What the heck, we'll check the last garage door before we do leave. Okay, more weapons. Ammo, broken AKs. Gear sets and MGLs, all right, that's it. All right, so this is what the first inventory of stuff looks like that we're gonna be taking out of here. Absolutely insane jackpot. Hey guys, I've got my little raid base set up here. I'll show you the actual base we're gonna be raiding in a second. But I've thrown an auto turret up to guard my back because this one could take a while. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So of course it's gonna be another one of these bases that look raided, but not decaying. So the raiders didn't find the TC. Could be walled off somewhere in here. They did some really good work in here. Really blowing a major section out of this centerpiece. First of all, we're just gonna check stability around here and probably blast into the sides of these things over here and then over here. We've got plenty of rockets to use, also some C4 just in case. But really just looking for any loot hidden off in these armored walls. Okay, first section down there. Uh, nothing in there at all. These sides are gonna be really weak though. We're gonna try to go ahead and blast upwards because not seeing anything around this honeycomb just yet. Thought that was something for a second, but that was just the ceiling getting destroyed. And nothing above. This is actually proving to be really difficult to find this loot. We're down to only C4 here. Maybe try some of these walls that are weakest right now. Let's see, I want to pop out one of these. And this one's weak as well. Ooh, I think we might actually finally have a counter. Two. 
Did he get him? Turret was doing some work out there. Nothing here. Lastly, I want to try this one. No way, boys, TC. That was my last freaking C4 too. All rockets are used. Let's go, dude. See what he's got in there. Get this thing sealed off first. Man, I'm naked. Uh so for TC, there was, oh my God, boys, we hit the jackpot. Check out all that freaking sulfur. Over 100K sulfur. We've got counter raiders here. We're gonna have to defend this for sure. But wow, that totally paid off. Even though we did use like 50 rockets. Just hoping we can hold this down while these counters try to get in here. GG, good game, Cherry. All right, I guess they might be leaving. We'll give it a second to cool down out there. But holy crap, boys, what's the exact count on that sulfur? I want to say just over 130k sulfur, which pretty much doubles what we used on this base. Let's go.